Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. So recently I purchased this motherboard from AliExpress in order to mount a computer with uh, AliExpress parts. So, and it will run Windows, Linux and Mac OS. Okay, so this is American Megatrends BIOS. So I will guide you through the the BIOS. So the only thing I changed was the system date after I put um, the battery because the motherboard came comes without battery. Okay, so I will go for all the menus on the BIOS just for you to see how it is. But just to tell you that I didn't change much. As I remember, I only put the date because it's mandatory. You have to put the date. Rather than that, I don't think you need to change anything. Okay. Also, the CPU, I also ordered from AliExpress. It was like 20 euros. Yes. And, and it is comparable to the other machine I have on my setup and where I do all my YouTube videos. So this is a, a four generation processor, but this one is a, a Cheon, okay? You saw it there on the BIOS, but I, I will leave a link in the video description for all the components that I ordered from AliExpress. So the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM, the CPU cooler, and the disks I already added, the power supply unit I already added, and the GPU, the graphic card I already added. So I the, these were the, the items I ordered, okay? And I was able to build a computer that can run Windows 11 pretty well, Windows 10, of course, Linux, any distribution, and it's running macOS Sonoma. In fact, the first time I turned on the, the motherboard, it was with a pre installed Sonoma installation, also for as well. Uh, computers and it booted directly at first try. I was really happy with that. Okay, so yes, it's run everything is running. So the only problem that I found on this BIOS is that it doesn't have a dedicated boot selection order. So if I have more than one disk. And you will see you see here so here I can select all my boot devices okay so you you see I have a solid state drive 128 gigabytes I have a USB disk and I have another disk that is not showing here with data so this is how you change the boot priority okay so I will change the boot priority to UFI USB and I will restart the machine. And here you can see I have two disks and U1 USB, which is Ventoy. OK, so the 128 is Windows 11. The other is a data disk. And the third one, the UFI USB disk, it will be a flash drive with Ventoy, okay. So after these, I will save and exit, and you see, okay, and you see here the processor, everything. So I didn't have to change anything to run Hackintosh, okay. So now it, it booted from the flash drive, and I have several ISOs inside the Ventoy flash drive. If you don't know what is Ventoy, check my channel. I have a video, so mainly is a, a pen drive or flash drive where you can have 
several systems ready for installation okay so in this flash drive i have four or five systems okay so it's booting zorin os which is linux okay and it's booting from the flash drive so if i wanted to install zorin os in my main hard disk i could now proceed with installation you see so it's running the from the flash drive and now i will be prompt to the option to try or install zorin os if you don't know zorin os it's highly recommended it's beautiful it works really well and if you like linux please give it a try because it's really really nice okay so now let's reboot i will remove the flash drive and it it should boot into windows 11 okay and yeah so windows 11 okay again if you want to install windows 11 and you don't know how to install in non-compatible machines you need to use rufus probably i have a video creating the, the the windows installation flash drive to overpass all the required stuff in order to be able to receive windows 11 okay and if you are not subscribed to my channel you you, you should subscribe because I, i'm always doing different videos about different stuff and so you get to learn something new okay as you can see this is the the motherboard i ordered for 30 euros from aliexpress also the processor xion uh, also from aliexpress so motherboard 30 euros processor 20 euros ram five euros if you don't saw my aliexpress unboxings i will be showing there the the ram okay so again on the bios and now i will change the boot order for akintosh so i connected the other hard disk drive that is not showing here but uh, i will so it, it's showing it's the a data so okay you see open core and now i will select my ssd with the sonoma and we'll boot really quickly so this is in verbose mode if you don't know what it is akintosh verbose it's when we get to see the code behind okay all the kernel extensions loading so this is my login on my Sonoma, on my AliExpress Akintosh. And don't forget, if you like this video, to drop me a like, consider to subscribe. And if this video helped you somehow with the BIOS changing stuff. So as you can see, this is running on the Intel Xeon CPU as you can see and the, my gpu it's a md radeon rx 560 okay everything is working like a charm so don't forget to drop a like subscribe if you like the video and i'll catch you on a new video bye bye